everyone this is billy welcome to billy holman creations oh my goodness i have been on a marathon and i am so excited with my new craft slash studio room and i'm ready and willing to get started so what we're going to do this next week is i'm going to be working on a octagon hexagon this is a hexagon isn't it hexagon shape from let's resin i have this on my let's resin heating mat um, and my leveling board i have mixed up six ounces of um, naked fusion diamond clear and i think i'm going to be pouring in layers so the first thing i need to do is color this resin and it is very bubbly. I did not heat it up. I just want a very thin layer on the bottom because I'm gonna make a scene. And I'm gonna use some of the little things I have on hand and I need to prepare them for this because we'll be doing a little painting, a little adjusting, and I can do that in my new craft room with you. But I'm back in my back porch because um, the resin, this is still going to be my little resin area. So what I want to do is get this just white, just a plain white color, um, because I think I'm going to paint a background on it. So, um, and this will be a little Easter scene. So I'm using my, uh, white from Just For You Online UK. And this is a paste liquid paste and I think I'm probably going to start with a little much I'm just going to go for what's on my stick and see if I can get this in here without making a mess I can move right over see how far that might get me so a matter of stirring and I'm going to continue until I get this as white as I can get it and I'm going to use some um, casting craft white if I need to so I'm just going to work on this real quick okay that wasn't very graceful so I cut part of that off <laughs> I'll cut part of that out and you know I have some um, casting craft a mold release and I really have not used this very often maybe twice and I'm just gonna spritz a little in my mold and we are just gonna pour and this will be the extent of it today I thought about four ounces and I probably could have got a, got away with four ounces let's just see I can't spread that just a little bit. I've got a few items that I'm going to put in here that are quite uh, thick or, you know, dense. So we are going to use a good, uh, good amount of resin in this, I'm sure. But it's going to be an Easter theme. I think I showed you the little characters in my last video of the room redo they're quite cute i wish the little girl lamb was in pink rather than peach but i'm just gonna make it work i'm beginning to like doing little scenes i think they're quite fun and some of the items i'm using you can sup substitute those of course you know um i'm probably getting a little ahead of, ahead of myself or doing more than i possibly you know that i have to but i want to use up just the little bits of things i have on hand what is that i wonder can you see those little white spots i thought i cleaned my mold it's just not mixed. It's little dots. I hope my mold is still okay, but we're working right side up. So um, this is going to be the back. 
maybe just a little more I don't want it to pull you know to the center and have gaps which it could possibly do risen being risen but I think that's gonna be a good layer right there like I said just very thin and I do have this cute little you know, this cute little jar that I just absolutely think is great. It's so cute and I see a hair in it. Let me get that out. I'll put the excess in here. I might add a little sparkle to this, but um, this is it, everyone. I'm just going to leave this on my mat for um, two hours. That's the maximum they suggest. And uh, it should be ready to go sometime later on today to where I can actually paint it and we'll do a background. Um, I want to do, you know, the ground, the sun, the sky, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. So I'll check back with you when we start to um, embellish the little goodies that are going inside, okay? Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you soon. Bye! Hi everyone! I'm back. It's been a couple of days since I set this first layer of resin into this hexagon. Uh, let me show you what we're going to do. I'm going to make a little scene for Easter. And I'm going to use the three little characters that you met the other day. Now, what I did is I sanded the back side of them down so they would be flat. And now I'm second-guessing myself because they would have made the cutest little uh, characters to make a mold with. But I've never made molds yet, but uh, I didn't see any copyright things on them. And now it's kind of too late, but that's okay. So the scene is we've got a secret element that I'm going to get to later. But like my scene with the deer under the trees. Now I'll link that video below. And this is going to be similar but different. So what's going to happen is my little my little characters are going to sit in here under these trees. And for the branches, I use this um, condiment mold or oh gosh, glue mold. I don't know what it is, but I I'm, I used the extra branches that I had made. Um, before I even planned this video. So I've used that mold. And I thought about making leaves, you know, with more resin, but then I thought, no, let's just take a little sprig of these plastic leaves or sprigs, and we are going to uh, put these kind of leaves on the branches like that. So that'll be another step. We'll use those. And today I'm going to do a little painting. Um, I've got some flowers that I had made with these molds that uh, I found at Michael's. And these are, um, oh gosh, they're not resin molds. They're not candy molds. There's something else and I can't think of it. What are they for? Um, I don't know, but they work. I have several flowers that I did previously right here that I want to I want to paint. I want to paint so they'll match our little scene better. So I'm going to do some painting today on those. The branches are fine and I'm going to add a little glitter. Um, I want to make some grass. So I forgot to plug in my glue gun, but I'm going to plug in my glue gun and we're going to make some grass. And what else is in the plan? I've been going over this in my head because of the several layers that I'm going to make. It's not going to be as simple as put the trees down, you know, put the layer down of resin and then put the characters down and then the flowers down. It's going to be a little different. But um, anyway, that is... The beginning of the big plan but while I have you here let me grab remember this little mold we did with the extra white resin of this little bowl that I think is just cute as can be and get it started I probably have there we go it's the cutest little bowl 
and I had already started it with excess resin and this is what it turned out to be like it's just so pretty I put some rocks in there those are from the crosses and then I had the extra uh, resin pieces that I put in with clear resin and I wasn't able to make a lid yet but I have a couple here that could be used um, like this one this is from the extra resin and you, we could use that lid or the white lid I already had made I think would be very pretty it's like that oh it almost looks like a cookie but anyway that's a cute little mold and I will link where I got that and I have dug out paint. I've dug out pastel paints. Most of them, let's see, most of them are apple barrel. I have a little Martha Stewart here. And these are pinks I had, uh, paints I had on hand. Anita's all purpose acrylic. So I've dug out some pastels and I'm going to go ahead and start painting some of these flowers and put my glue gun up up and get it heated and then we will uh, make some grass so bear with me just a moment and I'll get started with that oh I meant to say I'm in my new craft room uh, let me know please if the lighting is poor um, I do have a little lamp here I could turn on but I put in these bulbs that are really uh, high Oh, I don't know what they're called. I should have saved the box to show you. I got these bulbs at Walmart, and um, they're bright white. Bright, bright, bright white. So if the lighting's not good, please uh, let me know, and I will uh, set up something different. I'll bring my ring lamp in. I just wanted to leave most of that um, out with my resining, my resining station. Okay, I'm going to get back to you in just a moment. Okay, I don't know if you're going to be, see this very well um, on this styrofoam mat. Did I say styrofoam? Oh my goodness, I'm I'm in the nerve mode again. Um, <laughs> silicone mat. Yeah, it's got a tear in it, but I'm just going to use it for the hot glue gun here. What I thought I could do is if I just ran a bead, I'm going to go ahead and make about it seven or eight inch bead straight across this mat and I thought if I made this bead then if I came around and just I don't know it might be too thick but if I just made some I guess this is where one of those uh Really fine tipped glue guns would come in handy. Okay, come on you. I better try to get, let me try to get into the swing of this here. Go across a few gaps. Then we can come back in and fill the gaps. Whoops, that's pretty stringy. Never tried this before. You know, I did, uh, make the waterfalls with uh, my hot glue gun on one of my other projects when I did the letters with all the seashells and things and the little waterfalls. Um, that video is in my playlist also. And I think this will be video number 87. So... I'm so happy to be in my new room here. Now you can see my shadow. I apologize. I still, I have it packed to the gills. I mean, oh, it is packed to the gills still. Let's go back here and try to thin some of this out. I have still boxes in that corner by the dresser or by the closet that's pretty well stacked probably wasting glue by doing this but I don't know what else to make for grass I don't want to use um, reindeer moss but we'll just see how this turns out maybe if I do longer strips oh I think it'll work 
pretty, I'm almost getting the hang of it. You can always trim it. Scissors and... Oh, I should have went the other way too because I wanted to make a couple. That's thick blades of grass. You know, I went to Florida once on a holiday to visit the family. And uh, my brother-in-law had a beautiful yard. He was so proud of it. He had awards for his yard. But what I noticed is when I first got out of the van is their grass was really thick. I mean, the blades were thick, and I was thinking, oh, my God, this is like crabgrass in Idaho. Anyway, it surprised me. I never seen a lawn made with uh, such l thick blades of grass. I mean, you couldn't walk on it barefoot. It would cut you. So, anyway, this might be crabgrass in my little scene. We'll, cut, we'll just cut down the middle and use it that way. I'll just like it make extra because I'm not sure how this will turn out. I hope everyone's good today. I'm good. I've got to practice my keyboard today or the rest of the week. I haven't been real good about that here lately. We've got a gig out, out of town this weekend for St. Patrick's Day. And uh, I want to get this video up and running for you by Sunday. Whoops. Maybe the, this side might be better than the first. It's not going to be the focal point <laughs> but I wanted grass and I have some raffia but oh, I think that would just be messy trying to put that in resin so let's see how that will work can you see what I've done even if we just you know take the tips I like it Hmm, there's some globs, but you can always cut those off, all right? Now, now that I get the swing of it, I wonder if we could do this. Oh, you'd have a glob at the end. I wonder if we go that way. That might work, too. Oh, well, if you want to try this, you're just going to just play with it. We'll see how it goes. All right. Now I like it. I'm getting a little longer pieces. That's better, isn't it? We'll bury the little lambs in grass. Okay. I think we're good there. Let me turn that off. I'm going to set this aside and let it cool. We'll be... Painting that green. What do you think? Should be enough. I'm guessing it should be enough. All right. I... My desk is covered already. I mean, there's stuff. It's covered. Um, <laughs> it's a big desk. This was my old work desk from years ago. Let me set this so over here. Let that cool down. All right. So we have grass. Now I'm just going to start with some pastel colors and get my paint brushes here. I've got my little bit of dish soap in my water. I like my angle brushes better. Wish I had some smaller ones, but I don't. Let's see what's over here. So some small brushes. And let's just start, let me see what we have. I might have to paint some centers of these. Don't know that I'll use them all, and I might need to paint more than what I've got set out here. There's that rose. You'll probably leave that alone. Well, the leaves need painted again. 
Oh, uh, what else is these are just oddball little flowers, lots of roses. And um these are my extra little pieces I've got here. There's a bird. I want to paint this bird too. And see the leaves are pretty big for my other mold. So I'm just taking the oddball flowers here. The rest are roses. I don't know. Ended up with uh, little candies in that mold. Don't know what I used it for. I was going to put this bunny in there. Isn't he cute? Wanda sent me the mold for these critters. Oh my god, I just love them. Um, Wanda from Wanda's Blessed Creations. And I have the bunny here, but since there's a little white bunny in the Easter basket, we'll use it. And I don't need a butterfly. So, I'm just going to get after it. And uh, when I, when the Ooh, our glue's almost set. I'll paint the grass. So I can fast forward and I'm just going to get started with some pretty pastel colors. Okay, those are going to need two coats. Let's get that grass out. I can finish these up because you know what I'm doing. Let's get that grass. I'm curious to see how this will work out. Ooh. It's nice and cool. Shove these out of the way a little bit. See where you are. Oh, there you are. Look at this. Hmm. Well, boy, kind of went yellow there. That must have been a different type of glue. It's just my imagination. I'm not sure. Let's uh, grab my scissors. Billy. Oh my goodness. It's all new. It's a whole new area here. I'm trying to figure out. I'm just going to just cut this down the middle. Whoop. Let's see what we have. Rather than painting all this by hand, spray paint would have worked. I think. I might have to take that back. What did I spray paint? Oh, I spray painted some um, plastic greenery and it uh, flaked off with spray paint. So I don't know that I'll try that again. This needs a trim. Let's start from here. Yeah, I'll be trimming these up, that's for sure. Trim the fat pieces. Okay, I won't bore you with that. Let's just see what, like I said, I'm going to trim it. Looks like grass, but let's see what it looks like with paint. Now, I was wanting to go pastels, and this is one of the lighter greens, but it's still pretty dark. I have kind of an aqua green. Let's see. Oh, that's runny. Goodness sakes. A good shake. I said some of these I haven't touched for so long, they've just been setting. So this is rather runny. Might need a stir. So where's that? Stir it. No, I don't want to paint all of that yet till I trim it. Let's just see what the color will look like. See if it'll hold. So let's just go. Let's just go this fat part. Let's 
Well, that'll take two coats too. But what was that? That's what I was uh, hoping to get some kind of grass. So, everyone, enjoy the rest of your day until I can get back to you. This, this will take me a while. I'm be painting flowers and fixing the grass, and I will see you shortly. Bye. Hi, everyone. Seems like I've been painting all day um, and racking my brain as to how to explain exactly what I'm doing with the steps I'm trying to fall into place here. So let's just start with right now. I have the branches in the mold that has our thin layer of resin. And I need to mark where these branches are going to be because I have to, they have to be higher than this level. So I guess I can just explain it that way for now. So I'm going to take this brown Sharpie ultra fine pen and I'm going to see if I can't just mark, oh, it's working, where I want these branches to be. And I'm hoping it makes sense in a little while. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even make sense to myself, but I'm hoping this will give me an idea as to where these are going to be. Because this is definitely going to be a three or a, well, a dimensional. You'll be seeing uh, different layers and dimensions in this. That's why I'm trying to... Um, figure out how to explain it look at this i'm yeah i haven't even washed my hands um i'm i'm still going here still going here had i been thinking i could have trimmed these branches a little bit with my dremel but i'm not going to worry about that so obviously this is a tree tree and um i have to show you what's growing on these trees But uh, I'm going to add those leaves. But I want to paint the background. So I want to paint the background first. Um, but I need to know where this is branch these branches are going. So let's see how that worked out. Okay. Did I get it all? Can't pick it up on you okay they're slickery there's one I made it all the way around all the way around to this one and that's two oh I just jiggered it somewhere like so right but there's the part I missed right in here that's good enough okay there's two Go ahead and do this one. Hope you've had a good day. I've had a good day. Let's lift this up. Except I think I confuse myself just thinking a little too much or of course adding more into it than you know I need to but I guess how do they say that's how I roll <laughs> but this idea something I thought about for quite a while and I'm hoping I can get this in time next week. Okay, there, I needed to know where that was gonna be. That step is done, all right. Now, let me show you my flowers that I painted. 
and I wasn't happy with the paint results. It wasn't adhering, but I thought, oh, I'm going to add glitter anyway, you know. So I had a bunch of this dollar store glitter, but nothing really seemed to go with my color scheme. It was like they were too bold. So what did I do? I went and relied on my good old polycrylic. My good polycrylic and mica powders. Woohoo, yes. So this is what I've done. Well, I can't, well, here's an example. The bird. Blue, there you are. Blue mica party. Blue, blue, blue micro powder right here. Just mixed in with my poly acrylic to make it a nice um, consistency like paint. So that works out great. Before I show you my flowers, I better show you this box. This will explain a lot. This box was in my last video. Let me ask you, do you think we can put eggs in resin? I think we can. I think we can. Let me show you these. Remember me telling you about my pigeons, Paige and Pearl? Well, these aren't pigeon eggs. There's a couple in there, but these are tiny eggs. Look at those. Now, these little buggers are the ones I'm... These are my finch eggs. I have one little finch left. She's over 15 years old. I had five. Now, these are eggs. They're quail eggs. They are from um, Chinese ornamental quail. And I had them at the bottom of my pigeon coop with the pigeons. And they are just the size of a coffee cup or smaller. Smaller than a coffee cup. And uh, they continued to lay eggs. And it was so cute when they hatched. The boys were brown and the females were yellow. But they were the size of a peanut. So I'm saying these babies about that tall, one completely yellow, one completely brown, and orange feet, and they just, once they hatched, they were ready to run. But anyway, they're very cute little quail. And I had and I had those for some time too, but then I ended up giving them away to a gentleman who had the most beautiful bird aviary I'd ever seen in my life. But, okay, there's the secret ingredient. Real eggs. Oh, and I blew these eggs a long time ago. So, and I saved them like I do. Here's what the flowers turned out like. Okay, with my mica powders over my base coat of paint, this is what we have. We have the little quail eggs. And like I say, they're just little. And the flowers. Aside from glitter, the micro powders work better. A lot better. And there you go. About the size of an olive, really. A good, you know, a big green olive. That's about how big they are. So that's what I've been doing. And the reason we need to layer... Is because the eggs have to go first because they're the thickest and then in order to place the eggs I needed to know where my branches are going to be and then we'll just play it by heart when it comes time to do that so since I had a little bit of blue micro micro powder left I was just going to try if it's not completely dry I was going to just paint grassy area here and God, sunset area maybe with peach and then just do a little sky. So I'm going to see how this goes. I just want to lightly, lightly just go into the sky area here. And I could have used my acrylic paint, acrylic paints, but and they would shine and you know look very pretty. I've done that before. Just went down low, but um, 
they'd worked out just fine but I thought I'd go ahead and use the mica mix while I have it so I'm gonna go ahead use up this blue since it's handy here and uh, continue to paint this and if it doesn't look too good I will just take some isopropyl alcohol and um, get rid of it might be pretty streaky so let me get back to the glitter the glitter wasn't the right colors for me so I was going through my mica powders and what I found okay here we go from the soap shop you know I still have a bunch of those from the smoke shop I used haze berry paprika mustard and that's it okay then when I got my K resin resin they included a packet of 24 I mean these are big packets of micro powders they were having a special and this was a, a free gift with your order um, white quartz lilac shadow and alien green so the alien green I'm gonna do down here but let me show you how the grass turned out can you see my reflection look at oh no you're down there my hair is a mess anyway let me let me show you the um, the grass okay the green paint did not cover the grass worth a darn I trimmed it all up and I used my good old testers because I knew my testers would stick to the glue but now I'm convinced my mica powders will stick to the glue so I'm going to go over this with the alien green so it has a nice shimmer too but you know that turned out really good there's a few little hair pieces I missed you know but there's there's the grass I thought that was pretty cool and I can just cut it wherever I need it I do probably have more than I need so I'll have it for something else of course sometime but that's how that turned out so until I see you tomorrow because it's getting later on this evening I am going to finish my painting um, yeah finish my painting oh, the mo the resin piece the grass and I wanted to mention something else about the eggs you know I, I put the regular paint on the eggs but I knew that wouldn't seal and it would chip off but what makes me think this will work is the polyurethane is a is it you know two coats of that that should give a real nice hard cover so cross your fingers when we lay these in the resin that we're going to be okay all right i'll see you in a little while it'll be tomorrow but i'll see you then all right take care everyone good morning everyone i stayed up a little bit and uh painted the background here i just used uh what I had mixed up with my polyacrylic, a little brown paint to outline where my branches are going to go. I'm not the best at scenes. I've never really done scenic painting at all, ever really. So I just threw in some colors, a little blue, yellow, uh, peach, and green. So what I need to do is I need to get these eggs down, but I am going to take some uv resin and seal these holes on all of the eggs and then i'll place them where i need them to be in the tree and i also am going to tack down possibly a little bit of grass in the background and in order to do that i need to wear a mask uh, this uv resin that i have from michael's uh, just tears up my sinuses every time i've used it i've ended up the sinus infection so I'm going to go ahead with my mask on seal my eggs get the grass in and I will then mix some resin and I will get back to you when all that is done so let me just get my mask on and I'm gonna go ahead and start sealing these eggs shut so I guess I can move this out of the way. well I'll just do it there all right mask here we go 
mask and gloves. I do use my PVE when I mix resin and it doesn't seem to bother me, but the UV sure does. I don't know. I mean, when I'm working with resin and without a mask, I'm fine, but the UV does something. Anyway, I'm, I'm cinching this up now. Okay, those are sealed um, and I'm not going to worry about the bubbles because we're going to hide those. Initially I thought about hot gluing these down or using a uh, super glue of some kind but I noticed on a previous project the super glue uh, has some kind of reaction and it gets bubbly and coarse. So I'm just going to lay these limbs in. Heck, I might just tape them for a moment. And then we can position these eggs. And I think I'll wait and put the grass in after the actual branches are set in and ready for resin. So, I might take a glove off to do that. Okay, and it's back to the mask. Got some pieces of tape sitting right here. I can use up. So let's just set that branch where it's going to be, sort of, but I, I'm going to have to move it when I place an egg down. But for the time being, I just want to be able to make sure that when I put the branches down the eggs aren't in the way you know I think I think you get me now I think so that's the big idea I'm not done anything like three-dimensional like dimensional like this um, the deer I did before was just two steps you know this is taking several Probably don't need to do this, but I just want to be safe. And I'm going to be using my K resin today. Uh, that's new to me. It's a deep pour. I don't have enough liquid glass to do this whole pour with it, so we'll move on to my K resin and see how that works out. And while I'm talking, I want to thank you for being here. I'm always grateful that you're here with me. And uh, let's just take a peek at what the actual plan will be. Now I can set them in when I do the branches. I think I want the little boy in the middle have our bunny and the grass will lay down isn't that cool how that turned out I mean really you can do that with a lot of things I'll tack that down um, later well actually I want it behind them a little bit I want some behind them and I want some in front of them well let's see let's get these eggs done first so my thoughts are they're going to be hanging in the tree and I'm going to have to go up, gosh, probably a half an inch of resin to get those where I want them to be and uh, 
see if something will fit here. I'll be able to get that branch in there. So that's going to be a deep pour itself, you know, just for these eggs. I want to, oh, the bird. I wanted to put the bird in to see where I don't lose it. I want to be able to put that in there. We're going to have to have an egg here. Uh, let's see, I've got white. And we've got this peach. Might be able to put two kind of there, right? Um, see if I can have a purple over here. And that one broke pretty good. But we can, it's not going to be seen. So, ta da! We can do it. I don't know. It's pretty close in there. As long as I can slide that branch under it, I should be okay. Don't you think? Let's see. Well, sort of. I just want to know how many I need. The pink. So at this point, how silly do you think I am? <laughs> hey, I could go right in there somewhere. And one right in there after I, oh, I'm gonna have to move the branch. How many of these did I do? I think I did at least 12. Let's see, I have to slide the branch between that one. One up here and yellow in there somehow. Okay, want them there, them there. What are you thinking? Please let me know in the comments. We'll see how this goes. All right, everyone, back to the mask, and I'm gonna set these in. And, uh, gosh, I really might put some grass back there. How high would it be? I've got some long pieces here. These are the long ones. Oh, I think we need to do that, don't we? Yes. I'm going to need to do that. Put some grass about there. Straightened up. Don't move my tape. I'll let make that happen. And scissors. bump on it. I'm going to cut this off. Somehow. Like that. Okay. And cut this off up there. Okay. All right. I'm going to put you on pause for a minute. I have to go to the restroom. Okay, that feels better. I'll tell you, this bladder is not what it used to be. Um, what I was going to say is I'm hoping to puddle some UV resin, set the egg in, and I'm going to have to go in sideways because there's no way I can go underneath. And because of the bottom, I don't know that I can... I know the bottom layer, bottom layer of resin. I don't know if I can come up from the bottom uh, with the UV lamp. But anyway, here goes. 
gloves, mask. I think I'm beginning to see it come to life just a little bit. Just a little bit. I thought about this one for a while and well, I'll never know unless I just go for it, right? Okay. I'm just uh, locking in the grass. I have one more egg left. I'm really not sure where to put it. But I wanted to lock those in so they won't move when we pour. And I was checking to see if I come up maybe half an inch how high my little people will be. And I put the tree in and I think that'll work just fine. So that's how I'm hoping that will work. I'm going to mix up some resin now. I'm going to go ahead and pour. Um, I'll let you watch me how far I pour, and uh, then I will let it set up, and maybe this evening I can get back to it. All right? Thank you, everybody. Have a good day. I'll see you in a little while. Here we go. I'm ready to pour. I did one and a half cups. Of resin and I hope to get halfway up to these or almost halfway up to these eggs everything hopefully will stay secure I didn't do the top of the grass I still can't get over that grass I mean there you go that is just <laughs> I like that I like how that turned out a little lumpy but I'm sure with practice you could get better at it or I could get better at it let's just see how far this goes this is a nice resin I only saw a few bubbles but of course it's a thin velocity and uh, I'm sure it's going to be beautiful look at that I believe I believe are we almost there we're almost there we're almost halfway oh let's see we go a little more actually I'm over half on one and I should be level I'm on my leveling table it's just a little bit left I think that is as far as I'll go now I grabbed a little mold here in case I had extra and I did these when I first started resining. These are little bunnies, and I'm sure you've seen them. A lot of artists are using them. I got these off of eBay, and uh, the one has gold chips in it, flex, and I just put a tape over it because I'm not ready to finish that one, or I ran out before I finished it. Anyway, long story short, let's just let those bubbles come up a bit, and then I'll um, Put the heat gun to them in the meanwhile um let me just put this resin in one of these cups so i don't have to worry about um cleaning it because you know i'm not going to use glitter but i'm going to use uh i'm going to use these um clear confetti glitter and i believe i got these from the dollar store oh. so I want to put a few of these in just with the clear 
into a bunny mold. Let me move this over just a skosh. Yeah, everything looks like it's going to hold. Must have sealed those um, eggs pretty well. Once that's a bubble. No, that's that's the UV resin. Something's floating. But uh, anyway, I'm excited now for sure. I think the looks of this is pretty awesome. That bubble. Let me just go around the edges real quick. Well, that's where they like to hide. There's come a few coming up. And once I get the branches in and the characters in, we'll, we'll add the leaves that I had uh, pulled out for the tree. There's a hair right there. Whoop, gotcha, come on. Yeah. The grass isn't even producing bubbles. A few from the rocks. I'll just keep an eye on that for a second. Let me go ahead and pour this excess resin in here. See if we can't make a bunny or part of a bunny. And you know, when I clean my cups, I just uh, scrape them out well, spray some ibuprofen alcohol in, and take paper towels and just wipe. Then once in a while, I'll take them out and just peel the dried resin off. Because other than that, it's not going to hurt your next, you know, your next batch of resin. It, if it dries in there, it's in there. But you can peel it off. And I usually do that right when I'm finished. Get those cleaned up. Spray my utensils and sticks. Or whatever it is I use. That might just be enough for a bunny. Since it is the season. Let's see if I can open this with the gloves on. Looks like it's been open once. Heck, I can't remember from one day to the next what I've done. Alright. Here we go. Confetti glitter. Got that little holographic... Whoa. They're kind of big chunks. I didn't think that... Realize that realized that they were that big. Oh, that was a big one. If I would have realized that, I would have chopped them up, but... We're good to go. Pick this one up. Get in there. Get a stick. Stir this up. Ooh, yeah, that's a big one. I don't know if they'll. Oh, get you bubbles for sure. To spritz that. Look at those bubbles. I meant to warn you about that. The heat gun right under my phone is very loud. So let's just get this mold here. We'll put a bunny in. Do a bunny. The outside looks dirty, but I did. Um, I didn't clean very well. There's a piece of glitter. We're just going to try this middle mold here. Check it for bubbles because there'll be plenty. Oh, looky there. I might be able to get part of one. Ooh, that was a big chunk. What else can I use? This other is not going to do a another bunny. Those are big pieces. That's as full as it can get. Let's see, just a teaspoon in there, if that. Let me grab something real quick. I might have a mm, pendant mold handy. Let me see.
I'm going to just try this one. I'm going to have to do it down here. Move him over. I overfilled that a little bit. And just get a pendant out of this. Yay! That's what I like to see. Waste not, want not. Looks pretty, doesn't it? I don't know if you can see. Yes, you can see part of it. Oh, it is iridescent. What else can we do? I might as well put a little in here. You can always add to them later. Right? Okay. Keep an eye on these. I can't find, well, I didn't get online. I don't know what my wait time or work time is for this, this resin. I wasn't prepared. I should have looked it up. Get too anxious. Leave that there. And Everything looks great. Nothing's moving over there. All right, everyone. I'll see you later on. Now, I'm wishing you a great day, great evening, wherever you may be. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, everyone. I'll tell you what, I've been gnawing at the bit waiting for this deep pour to cure. So, um, I apologize. This video will probably be a little late. I need to plan ahead next time if I'm going to do a deep pour and have something in between as far as videos go. So, let's see how this went. I like it. So far, I love the fact that Everything looks good. I don't have bubbles except, well, I had a few bubbles right here, but those are going to be hidden. I tried popping them, and then I pulled the resin as I went, so I had to stop that. But I want to see, first of all, how our branches fit. But before I do that, let me get organized. Here's those pores I did with the leftover resin. Now, um, these will be... Uh, pendants or something ornaments I don't know but I want to do a top pour and do something on those so I'm not going to demold those yet but I do want to demold the bunny while we're here I, I had a little pour over of course but I save it let me move this bugger let's just pop this rabbit out of here see how it turned out oh and this is a matte finish mold, so it's not shiny, but oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that sweet face. What I'm going to do is I'm going to color in the eyes, and uh, I'm going to do a spray coat of polyurethane on top, and that brings out the shine again. But uh, that's really pretty. Our flakes, of course, sunk down to its back, but... Makes no mind, he's so cute. I see a few bubbles right there. Pardon the thumbs, you know me. Boy, I tore that one bad. Anyway, um, always dirty. I'm always dirty. Anyway, that turned out really cute. So let's put that aside and get back to this. I am so anxious to see how the branches fit. I think I'm going to have trouble right here because that last egg I put in is quite... Uh, you know, it's squeezing where the branches would be. Let's see where we are. So if I set, oh, where did this one go? Nope, this one went here. Set that there. That works. Okay. We'll set this one here. And I'm just going to lay it right over the painting. 
So I do need to, I think I need to take a little bit right here off. I don't know what I can mark that with. Let me see. Of course I don't have a Sharpie handy there in the other room. But I'm going to mark where I need to trim this. If I can see that. Let's make a little mark there. I can't see that. Here's a pen. Try that. But I'm going to go out to the shop and trim this a little bit. And this one, I know I'm going to have to trim. See, the fit's too tight. It won't, it won't work. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to go in here, trim some of that back, some of this back, just a hair. And this one, I believe, I'll have to trim too. Yes, I will. I'm going to have to take this edge right off. So I'm going to put you on pause, run out to the shop real quick. I'm just going to use my little sander bit and clean that up so they fit tightly. So bear with me. I'll be right back. Okay, that didn't take long. I'm just going to wipe these off with some isopropyl 99% alcohol. And what I'm going to have to do, I really wish I didn't have to do, but I think it's for the best, is to take my UV resin and uh, tack these down like I did before. So I hope I cut enough off that. That's the plan. So I will go ahead and do that. We're going to do that. I'm going to put pieces of these leaves in different areas to hide some of that, okay? And let's see how our, our little characters are going to be. Put them down on the rocks like that. Now I think I'm going to put the other grass behind them, not so much front of, at front of them because, well, I could, but then that would entail another layer of resin. So let's avoid that and do some grass under to trim it and have them like standing on the rocks. I will add more rocks. You can't see that grass, can you? Might have to bring it down to the rocks like that. There you go. Something like that. So we've got our leaves. Put our little bird, maybe like he's starting to fly up. He won't fit up there now, I don't think. Well, I know he won't. We're going to do that and try to stick some of these flowers in here. Let's see. Just put those in there like that. What else do we have? I don't think I'm going to use them all, but this is what I was thinking. Should I do another purple one or a pink one? Something like that, okay? And one more thing I wanted to show you. Um, once I get the leaves on, I'm going to take, I've got some little silk flowers here that I got from Walmart in their sewing section. And these have beads, so I don't have to worry about, you know, losing the rhinestone. And I thought could put a few smaller flowers up in the tree like that. Oh, what do you think? I love it. So I have some work cut out ahead of me. 
I'm going to go ahead and just let this record. I'm going to get my mask on, my UV resin, and um, fast forward, or I might cut some of this out. We'll just see how far I can get. Okay? I hope you're going to like this one. That was my big plan. I love it. I love the idea. And it's not that hard at all. You just have to think about your layers and have some patience. Try this grass. This was awesome, I think. And I'm going to get those pieces out that fell in there. And once I'm done, I don't know if I can get on back on camera, but before I leave tonight, I want to try to get this completely poured. So when I get home, it will be set and we can demold. So thank you for watching thus far. Stay tuned and you can see the progress I make. Let me blow this out. I'll get some tape. All right, I'm going to get after it then. Oh, there's more there. Okay, be quiet, Billy, and focus. This is going to be awesome. I'm going to interrupt again, <laughs> only because, I don't know if you ever realize that, but when I was popping bubbles, you know, I pull them up, and so some of, there's specks of resin on the sides, little spots, where I pulled the bubbles up, and I'm going to have to remove those, or else they're going to show up as little holes in your finished piece. And we don't want those. Take that mask off. Whew. I'm gonna change my filters. I can't breathe in that. All right, um, I plugged in my glue gun. I think I'm gonna take a chance with the glue gun and hot glue, putting the little things on. I just needed a breath of air. Holy moly. Ugh. All right. I almost wish I would have had a third layer of grass in the background, but. This is still going to be gorgeous. Okay, take a breath and I'll keep going. Let me wait till that heat gun works, uh, warms up. But I guess put my mask on one more time and get my little get my little people in there. The little lamb. Oh, and I'm thinking. I won't have to fill this all the way full. I'm just going to go covering his hat or her hat, whichever sticks out furthest. Gosh, that's so sweet. Oh, look at she's blushing. She likes him. It must be love. Bunny. There. Oh, yes. Then I'll fit the flowers in. All right, I'm gonna mask up, put them down. I do have some extra filters here and I will change those 
before the next project. That's for sure. Let's see how am I going to do this. I don't want to get it. I think I'm just going to go at their feet. I don't, and hopefully that holds them because I don't want to have any of this UV resin showing up. So I don't know how that's going to fare. So if I can just get some down at their feet, because we're going to put rocks there. All right, let's just go. I don't know, you can't see the grass with him so tall. Well, you know it's there. Should we switch them? Not sure. Maybe that'll be better. No, she needs to look at him. we are kind of lean in. Probably can't hear what thing I'm saying. I'm going to do it. Okay. Get you there. Get you about there. Get you about there. Okay. Here we go. think of that with the little more grass and the stones that should lock them in really well yeah they're not gonna move now okay I'm gonna check with the glue gun maybe step outside and get some air and I'll be right back to uh, glue the leaves on the tree You know, I was thinking after I glue these down, I might have to watch this. So I might not be able to pour. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to be able to pour this until probably Sunday. So I'm sorry about that. But I need to watch this for bubbles because I'm sure there will be plenty. What do you think? What do you think? Oh my god, isn't he gorgeous? It, this, whew, that's my masterpiece, I think. Okay, all we need is the little flowers now. Should we have the flowers of the tree all, this is like an off-white. Or should we have multicolors? Do that all over the tree one color. I think that'll work. Because I think if we add pink and blue, it'll be a little too much. 
mean, these should be dunked in resin before I put them on. But I want to glue them down. All right, everyone. There it is. There it is. Whew, I've got to get ready to go. I won't get the resin pour today. My apologies for that. I'll put up a teaser, maybe. If I can. Hit the shower. Get the makeup on. That's a chore in itself. <laughs> Is that a glue glob? That's a glue glob. It could be a raindrop. I'll cut that off. Hi everyone. Oh, welcome back. I must say, I nurtured this pour all day. And I think I've succeeded in many ways because there were a lot of bubbles coming up and I was able to pop most of them, but there's a couple of flaws and I'll show you. Let's demold this. It's gorgeous. Oh, I can't believe it. It's heavy too. This took five cups of resin. So let me just try it this way. I've been so nervous about this. The eggs look great. The eggs look great. I just want to get this up for you. The next time I do a deep pour, I'll have to make sure I plan ahead so we don't have to wait. Waiting for me was the hardest part. But at least I can say I did this. I thought about it and thought about it. And okay. Whew, there's our white backside. Ready? Look at that. Isn't that sweet? I hope the lighting's good. Oh, there's a glare. Which light is that? Oh, that's my win no. That's my window light. Anyway, look at this. Aren't they cute? I have a flaw right here. Look at this. I'm gonna have to sand. I um tried to get one last bubble. And it was a little too tacky to mess with. So I am going to top coat this. I'm going to be sure to sand that off because that was my bad. And then over here, oh, I don't know if we can see it. I spotted a piece of lint right there. Right there. I didn't see that or I could have yanked it. Um... The tree limbs look bubbly, but I think that's where uh, there were previous bubbles in it when I first molded it, but that I think makes it look a little more authentic. What we did lose was the color in the peach flowers. They faded a bit, but overall it turned out really cute. I love the grass. I love the little characters. It just turned out great. Oh, yes, I've got to sand those. That's a group of bubbles. And take the rim down a little bit. It's pretty sharp. But there's our eggs. Oh, happy Easter, everyone. I hope you love this. I hope you've got some ideas. You know, whether it just be... Oh, just if you have a picture in your mind, try to put your picture down. Put it down in resin if you can. Use what you have. Uh, make grass with, with hot glue. Um, little flower molds. Rocks. It's endless what you can do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. My apologies for it being, you know, quite time consuming. But I didn't know for sure what to cut out and what to leave in. And plus I talk your ears off. So aside from that, I appreciate you all very very much thank you for watching have a great day and we'll see you in the next video bye